hello and welcome to the very last Christmas in July for this year because you know July is only one month of the year that was that was actually terrible that was terrible I'm sorry I have three more, three more Christmas books that I've read in July. So I have The Christmas Party by Carol Matthews. The lighting is going to go out and about. So The Christmas Party is basically everything leading up to the author's Christmas party. And that's where the novel takes off at the party. <laughs> this could so easily be a funny movie and I would watch it a lot <laughs> a lot probably so there's so many different characters in this book and they're all kind of interconnected in a way not just because most of them work in the same office but because some are having affairs with others and uh, some have had relationship with other people that just happens to show up at the party it's it's honestly a lot um but it's also a lot of fun and you know you have cheating you have rekindled romance you have newfound love you have a lot of things in this book i could have done with a couple more jokes but honestly if they make a movie out of it it's probably gonna have a lot more of that <laughs> not that i know they making a movie but they should make a movie out of this book not gonna lie so this was honestly so so funny and the ending of it just the sweetest uh highly recommend for a semi-quick christmassy rom-com funny son of a i don't know all the words all the words and a another carol matthews book is a uh, wrapped up in you so in this one we follow 30 something hairdresser Janie and her single status is the concern of everyone. Why? I would want to ask why do people need to concern themselves with other people's relationship and or lack thereof? What's it to you dude? What's it to you? Anyway, so Janie is kind of the source of gossip for everyone and you know her friends her clients her everything basically she lives in kind of a small town so it's uh everyone knowing everyone kind of a deal and uh not the best for Janie maybe <laughs> so after she briefly meets uh her ex as he can do sometimes just out and about um she kind of accidentally tell him that she's going to Africa because he's getting married so she felt she needed to top that so she kind of goes to Africa because why not why not go to Africa in the midst of a crisis <laughs> she has the time of her life in Africa and what she does not expect is to fall madly in love with a fully-fledged Maasai warrior yeah because yeah so basically can they make their love last because they 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 heat it up they heat it up so this book slams you with like the shock and the awe and all that you know you could have kind of asked her why she can just have looked next door for love because he's kind of in love with her but no she goes to africa and finds love <laughs> why not i mean why not good for her though good for her but also what a lot of work <laughs> this happens quite early on in the beginning of the book so it, eventually events lead to one another and Janie kind of brings Dominic which is the Maasai warrior 
um, over to England to this little small town and he's very much like a small child learning how to use things and do things and all that it's not because he's actually a small child it's because he's he's lived on like the plains of Africa his entire life so everything is so new to him even though he kind of knows how to do Facebook and stuff but but you know small city life is a bit different to the plains of Africa I would say these characters go through a lot I feel at times I felt at times they could have just taken the easy way out um, but no 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 they took the hard way down the road it's a cute book it's it wasn't as funny and stuff as the Christmas party but it was like a cute if you want like a slow burn kind of a deal because you get a lot of that you get a little you get yeah that's what you get and uh, very lastly this lighting is very weird today uh, very lastly we have the Christmas bookshop by Jenny Colgan ah why not so, Carmen. We follow Carmen. She finds herself without a job and kind of the last thing she wants is to move in with her perfect sister and her perfect family with her perfect job and, you know, everything is so perfect for Carmen's sister. And, you know, Sophia, her sister, she doesn't really want Carmen there either. But what do you do? Family, eh? Family. However, Sophia kind of finds Carmen a job and so Carmen moves in with her sister Sophia and starts working in a very old bookshop. Basically what Carmen is supposed to do with this bookshop is kind of get it up and running at least for the Christmas sale so you know the value of the bookshop can go up because Mr. Creedy, the bookshop owner, um, he's kind of, well, he needs to sell his bookshop, basically. And so what Carmen's supposed to do is get some value to it. So he, he'll actually, you know, get something for it. As these things go, Carmen uh, is a hot commodity. So she, she kind of ends up in a weird... It's more than a triangle drama. There's this like bad boy literary rock star called Blair who kind of wants her but at the same time he kind of goes for the like living nanny that Sophia, her common sister has and they have some kind of I don't know what fight over this Blair. Carmen wants none of Blair but you know yeah. <laughs> and then there's uh, Oki. He is a, um, a quiet Quaker. I think from Brazil. I think that's what it was. Correct me if I'm wrong. So much. Oh, there's so much. So you have Christmas, you have Bookshop, you have Edinburgh. Honestly, I kind of fell in love with Edinburgh all over again reading this book and now I need to go back like every five minutes. We'll see when that happens. We'll see when that happens. So, to sum it up, definitely must read. Read this book because you'll love it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So yeah, those were three Christmassy books I read in July. <laughs> And that's it. I don't know. I don't have much to say today. I'm not going to lie. But there you go. So thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time. Take care. Bye-bye.